Hey guys, I am back with another Halloween look. If you guys want to see how I did this super creepy, gross, disgusting wolf attack, Little Red Riding Hood edition, definitely stay tuned. Okay, so let's hop right into the video, guys. I am first starting off with some surgical tape, and I'm just using that to protect my eye from the latex and everything else that we're going to be applying. You can get this tape on Amazon. That's where I found it. I couldn't find it in any drugstore. You might be able to find it in your drugstore, but I haven't been able to, and I've been look I wanted this particular tape, not the clear one that I usually use. So. I use that or you can just make an eye patch using like a cotton round and some liquid latex and just letting it set overnight I think I did that with my look I did last year of my demon look so I will have that linked up in the um, cards if you guys want to check that out but next I'm gonna go in with a piece of cotton and this is gonna kind of be like the effed up eye that we're gonna be creating and or what 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 is there left of an eye and I'm just gonna go in and apply that and then I'm just gonna go and cut another piece of cotton in half and kind of place it where I kind of want it you're just kind of building up and creating the wounds and where you want the openings and the goriness to be you can place this wherever you want it does not have to be identical to this that is the thing about SFX that it is just customizable to whatever look you're trying to create in every look it's gonna always look different so next I'm going to go in with some liquid latex. I actually just picked up a small bottle from some at the Halloween store because I didn't actually want to use my expensive Mayron liquid latex for this particular look. I kind of like to use like my expensive latex when I do my prosthetics and things like that. Um, but I just went in with the clear liquid latex from the Halloween store and I'm using that. And I do two layers so I apply this layer let it dry and then apply another layer just to make the construction a little bit more sturdy and you know so that it'll last all night which I didn't wear this all night but you get my point. I do use a blow dryer to speed dry in between layers. Next, I'm going to kind of repeat similar steps on my neck just to create another wound on my neck. Um, this one is just a little bit more, I guess, gruesome, I guess, so to speak. So I use a little bit more cotton and this is kind of like a larger area on my chest. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame, but you guys get the drift. I'm pretty much repeating the same steps that I did on my eye, on my kind of chest neck area and do the same thing with applying two layers of the liquid latex, drying in between each layer using my hair dryer on cool air. do go in with a little bit of red yarn and just apply it kind of inside the wound um, and I do do this on my eye a little bit later as well um, but I just go in with a little piece of yarn kind of separate it and just kind of tuck it into um, the wound just to kind of give it a little bit of dimension texture and just make it look a little bit more realistic
So next I'm gonna go in with some kind of flappy pieces of tissue paper and I'm just going to layer that on top of what I've already done just to kind of create like some flappy skin um, just kind of where I want the wounds to be so it kind of kind of I guess creates more of a separation between the wounds so you guys can actually not you guys but so you can kind of see where the claw marks are and you know just gives it a little bit more depth and texture so I use a layer of toilet paper on top of where I put this um, surgical tape and just build that up again I do two layers of liquid latex drying in between each layer using my hair dryer Now we're going to start going in with our foundation. I just used the same foundation that I used on my face mixed with a little bit of the um, another like kind of a deeper foundation because since the coloring is liter literally off when you use a liquid latex it's not going to match this your skin complexion the same way it normally would. So I tend to go in with a lighter or darker um, foundation depending on you know what color I'm left with after I use latex and just kind of try to match it as close to my skin as possible but bear in mind when you're using liquid latex it is never going to match you identical because of the textures and the color of the latex so just want to give you guys a heads up on that um, and then I'm gonna go in and just apply a little bit of yarn where my you know little eye eyeball is supposed to be and I'm just gonna go in just to create you know more texture and more realism to it and just kind of spread it out it doesn't have to be perfect like if you got clawed by a wolf honey you ain't gonna look perfect okay so don't try to make this super perfect or just super just neat and organized because then it won't look realistic so I wanted this to look as realistic as possible and I say realistic in quotations
Okay, next I'm gonna go in and start doing some coloring and I'm gonna go in with the red. I'm using my Makeup Forever Flash palette. Um, I have two of them. I have kind of like the more cool tone one and then I have kind of like the primary colors one. And I'm just gonna go in and kind of create those claw marks and you wanna kind of drag them out past where your actual wounds are just to make it look a little bit more, again, realistic and kind of fade it out when you get to the edge. And I'm just gonna go in and kind of repeat these steps um, on my neck as well as on my eye as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with a brown tone and I'm just gonna apply that to the edge of each wound just to kind of give it a little bit more depth and kind of you can see more of the clear separation of where one wound, one wound starts and one wound ends. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. It kind of gives like a nice little shadow plus gives it some bruising look. And I do this again on my eye and on my neck. Okay, next I'm going in with a kind of purple shade just again to create some more bruising and give it a little bit more depth. So you want to apply that kind of um, next to the brown, just kind of around the edges just so that it looks very bruised and just kind of really gross. So I applied a little bit of purple mixed with brown um, and just go in and really um, bruise up that area. Next, I'm going to go in with my blood. I am starting off with a dark blood first. The dark blood kind of gives it some depth and makes the wound look deeper than it actually I mean, is because it's not real. Um, so I go in with some dark blood first. And then I'll go in with a brighter, um, more, I guess, I call it like theatrical blood, um, but it's a little bit brighter. And I go and apply that kind of over top just to make it look very disgusting you can use as little or as much blood as you want it is all customizable um, and those are the only two bloods that I actually use for this was the dark blood and then I it's called stage blood I believe which same never mind um, and I just go in and apply that and that is pretty much it for the look guys um, I hope you guys enjoy I know some of you guys are not into Halloween and stuff like that but I enjoy it um, and I enjoy you know using SFX and things like that because it just gives up a little change to the normal soft glam looks okay so um, this is um, what I did for look number two for my Halloween series and I have three more to go and we are hoping to get all three done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. Don't worry, I will have some other videos in between all of these looks um, as well. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! Thank you.